this week it's a little unusual i'll probably do another one in a couple of days but this is to get me through christmas since i'm working i'm working christmas day and normally they serve us a christmas meal on christmas day but this year the options are not really that festive it's just like pork loin and chicken teriyaki so i'm gonna make a beef stew it's a little bit kind of like beef roast but easier i'm gonna go ahead and make that and then i'll just bring that to work and share some with my coworkers. maybe i brought this there's only going to be maybe three of us working that day but i brought this to put it in and transport it if i want i'll cook it overnight and then i'll have some beef stew and if my coworkers don't want it i'll just have a lot of leftovers <laughs> but i've got the beef stew meat i got a little more than i normally get because i always feel like i'm short on meat when i make these stews so this time it'll be very meaty i've got some celery onion potatoes i still have those baby carrots in the fridge that i bought last week i never ate them so we'll throw those carrots in there and then the cornbread was such a hit for the christmas party that we had that i bought another box to make so we'll have cornbread i'll make biscuits if i want to go with the beef stew and i got milk to make the cornbread i got this Kerrygold butter it's actually already open but we were putting this on the cornbread. There's still a lot left in there. And the beef broth is to go in the beef stew. So beef stew with cornbread and possibly biscuits. So we'll have a feast, whether there's something in the cafeteria or not. And I also got containers just to have for leftovers. You always need more containers. So I've got containers. This is what I bought if I want, if I don't bring the whole crock pot to work, I'll just put some in here and bring it. And I got some other stuff to just help me get through the next few days since, you know, Christmas, a lot of things are closed. I don't think I'm gonna be cooking a whole lot before then, but I got a little sandwich that I can just keep in the fridge and grab if I need a meal. I've got some, what do you call this, chow mein. And I also have some, Shredded turkey that I bought from Safeway a couple days ago that I can eat off of. I've got peanut butter and jelly I can make, cereal. I've got stuff to get through the next few days and then the beef stew will count for something. So I'll take you along and show you what I make, how I put this together. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <music>
So this is what's left of the beef stew. I took it to work, we enjoyed it. I put it in my smaller crock pot after it was cooked because it was easier to transport. And then I just left it on warm. So the, the beef really broke down because I left it on warm pretty much most of the shift. So it's very tender, it's really good. And I've got some potatoes left, some carrots. It was a hit, everyone loved it. I just forgot to show you guys when it was ready because I was rushing to go to work. And I've got my biscuits left. I'm gonna have one for breakfast. I've got a few left in here for the rest of the week. And yeah, it was a hit. People liked the stew and it was good. I haven't had it in a while. It's perfect for a winter day like today. It's pretty cold out. So this is what I got out of it. Sorry, I forgot to show it to you guys when it was finished, but here it is. I've got beef stew for a few more days. in the carton and I didn't feel like opening the new carton to pull out another egg so one egg we got a biscuit left over from the party yesterday this is how I like it I like my biscuits with one side just butter and the other side butter and jam so you get kind of like two biscuits <laughs> and I'm not really counting points this week I'm just trying to finish up what's in the fridge I am watching like my calories and just trying to slowly get back on track after vacation and Christmas I did maintain my weight through the holidays. I'm exactly what I was this morning, day after Christmas, as I was before I left for my trip to Louisiana. So what's that? Two and a half, three weeks later, and I've maintained. Honestly, if I maintain through the New Year's, I'll still be happy with that. I do want to enjoy myself, but I'm going to gradually start getting back on track. So first meal day after Christmas. This is what I got. stew that I'm having for lunch today and the last two bits of cornbread that were left over from the party. I've been gradually working on that. So this will be a nice, warm, yummy feeling lunch. I'm still sporting my holiday tumblers. This is the one my mom got me for Christmas. I'm still going to use it when it's not Christmas, but it's a nice green color and it matches really well with my Christmas tumbler. I've got the Element hydrating powders. What do you call them? Electrolytes in here with some water and just trying to hydrate. I had a lot of sweets this week trying to recover. 